Hello, everybody. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Andrea Maeski here once again. So if things have been going so well in Mobile RDH Academy that I've already created a Facebook group to kind of bring us all together. So for those of you who are either thinking about starting your own independent dental hygiene practice or you do have your own office now, you should join us because this will be the group where we just talk about any questions that we may have. And trust me, there's always a ton. Questions about um, insurance, uh, questions about claim forms, questions about how much should I be charging, you know, questions about I keep asking if I offer a lower fee for those who don't have insurance. Well, no, we're not allowed to offer that lower fee. Um, we're allowed to offer a senior's discount, but that's the only sort of lower fee that we are allowed to offer. You know, all of these things where you might not know, and there's so many different things that we have to think about. It's kind of like, um, think of your first day in your dental hygiene program or your dental assisting program and then think of your last day. You have so much info, you don't know everything, right? So even if you've read about, you know, fees were allowed to charge, you know, about claim forms, about when should we submit electronically, when should we not, you might not remember. So I figure at least in here, we can ask questions and say, you know, hey guys, I forgot, but how much are we allowed to charge for a polish? You know, I mean, that's a really simple question, but you get the idea, right? So feel free to come on in. I, I will leave the link for you guys at the bottom. It's just um, facebook.com slash groups slash independent dot RDH. That's it. Nice and simple. And I have already uploaded a couple things. I just actually started the group like an hour ago. So um, I haven't had a chance to add in everybody yet, but um, I did upload a couple things and I will be uploading some more stuff later, including um, Maxil had sent me top 20 concerns for the office audit. And I'll just kind of show you guys that if you're curious. Um, let's see, where is it? So I kind of have a nice little step, I guess, info for all of you guys, because that was one of my first questions was, okay, infection control. Um, can you tell me about these class five indicators? Tell me about the internal indicators, the external. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff that we have to know, especially if we own our own practice. So I did upload that for you guys. There will be a lot more. Um, but yeah, you guys, so come on in. Um, this will be exciting. I'm excited to see where this group is going to go. I'm surprised that there's not a group on Facebook already for independent dental hygienists because we've been doing it now, I think, since 2005. Sorry, um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think 2005. And I'm the first one to create a group. So I'm excited, though, to see where the group is going to go. It will be only, though, for people who are thinking about starting their own practice or who do have their own practice. So I do want to monitor it that way. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good Thursday and it's almost Friday. I will see you guys in the next one.